particularly interested in painting uh, crowds like uh, packed. Uh, I thought this would be a really colourful global crowd uh, arriving at the World Be World Cup and I wanted to try and uh, do my best to capture that. The large number of people that actually um, makes it easier because it's very easy to form composites of people in, in, the, in the brushwork because there's always somebody forming a similar position every time you look up. It, you, you don't have to wait for very long for somebody to form the same position again uh, walking to the stadium. Uh, so, so you can quickly use different people to, to form recognisable human forms on the, on the canvas. Normally I'd like to spend five or six sessions on a painting. It, it helps having drying time in between. You can get all sorts of different textures by returning to a canvas over a number of days. It's always a compromise between really loose gestural work that happens in the early stages and, and quite defined detail that, that illustrates the, the space accurately and, and kind of individuals in the painting. So it's a compromise between detail or, or loose expression really. Everybody's documenting at the moment, aren't they? With, with kind of uh, instant uh, recording and capturing of images and being able to communicate those to, to quite large audience is uh, in an instant at a press of a button. Uh, this art form is largely born out of, of the very early stages of that, really, trying to uh, say so artists would go along to historical uh, events of significance and try and form a representation of acts as they were happening. It can often get a message across in a different way, an individual's take on it, uh, rather than a, a kind of a, a photograph, a kind of mechanical lens take on it. Having, having an individual's interpretation can often be more interesting and, and can capture aspects of atmosphere and, and movement and time passing that perhaps the camera can't.